right, so tonight's homework, which is homework number 43, is two different pages, okay? The first one's page 734, that's the powers of 10. All right, I figure that's really all the homework you need for powers of 10. And then the second one is what we've been doing this week, which is page 232, turning fractions into decimals. Okay, and I think uh, by now, because today is Wednesday, that you are going to be able to do most of it. So I'm going to go with number six and six only. All right, and I want to show you something. So this is 16 over 24. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand on this topic a little bit just to go into uh, turning decimals into percent. All right. And uh, yeah. Okay. So one of the fundamental things that we need to know here is how to turn a fraction into a decimal. Okay. And then into a percent. So what I want to do is reduce this first. So do that because otherwise you're going to end up doing a question like this. And the numbers are just, you know, bigger than they have to be. Because you could have reduced this. So I'm going to reduce this. All right. So let me try four. Okay. I think that's the greatest count. Right? The no is not. Okay. It's eight. Right. So eight into 16 twice. Eight into 24 three times. All right. So we already know where this is going. All right. Just like that. So three doesn't go into two. So we're going to put zero here. All right, so zero times three is zero, okay? If you really want to do it very, like, deliberate-like. Now, three can go into two, not not as a one whole, one whole number, right? So here, right off the bat, you're going to start off with a decimal, right? Because now you're going to, like, break them, break them into smaller parts. So that's where the decimal comes from. It's less than one. And then we're going to add a zero. Bring that down. Three times, right? Seven's too big, so six. Oops. Six, 18. Subtract, which is two. And then a zero. Now you're going to realize right off the bat, I think we even spoke about this in class already, that you're going to get a repeating decimal. So we're going to get 0 0.6 with a bar over it, right? 0 0.6 repeating. Okay, all right. I think that's it, okay? Because the other one's like 7 over 25. I think I think you can reasonably handle that, all right? Um, let me think. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. All right, okay. So thanks for watching. OMG, that was so good.